Hey everybody, my name is Ivica. Thank you so much for being on the latest Unreal Engine beginner tutorial video on my YouTube channel. Hopefully you'll find it interesting. Hopefully you'll find it useful. If you do, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Link is in the description below. Now, this video is going to show you how you can remove these guys from your first person blueprint, which is first person shooter template and you want to, for example, create a walking simulator where you don't have a gun or hands or anything like that. So right now, when you open up the first person template, you get something like this. You can shoot at things, you have a gun, you have your hand visible. Now, as you can see, it's all in the first person blueprint. It's located right here. And for example, you want to remove all of that. So the first step and the logical process would be to simply select your first person character, open edit first person character, find all of these elements in the viewport. Here they are. You have two guns. Don't let that confuse you. One is a VR gun and other is the regular first person gun and you simply delete them. However, if you do that, you'll get a message that you messed up a bunch of stuff because they're interconnected with a bunch of stuff as well. So there is another way to do that and it includes hiding these models, these static meshes and actually disconnecting the functions they provide in the template, in the construction script and the event graph. So the first actual location for changing anything is to go to this event graph and spawn projectile where you disconnect input action and input touch so you want to stop the player from being able to shoot to do that simply hold alt key and disconnect these nodes you can also disconnect the fire index why not you can now compile and save and at this point we can dock this here and I'm going to close project settings, which are open for some unknown reason, you won't be able to shoot. So you got your gun, but when you click, nothing is happening. So step one completed. Now, the second step would be to remove the crosshair, which we have even though the gun isn't firing. And to do that, we're going to go into blueprints and check out first person HUD. We'll open it up with a double click. And here we have the event graph and from it we have draw crosshair on the center of screen. We're going to disconnect it as well. Again with the alt. We're going to compile and save. Go back into the first person and there you have it. No crosshair, no ability to fire. So we took care of the crosshair in the HUD, we took care of the firing exact, the process of firing in the first person character. The last thing we want to change is to go into the viewport and remove both the guns and the hands. And we'll do that by selecting this component. I'm going to show you, so you have your entire first person character, select your gun and go to rendering and check visible. So it's no longer visible, it's no longer rendering. This do the same for the VR gun, which you actually shouldn't be concerned about, but let's do it anyway. And finally, do the same for your hands again. Uncheck the rendering visible element, compile and save, and go back to your first person level, play, and voila, there's no gun, there's no hands, you have your walking simulator, for example, or anything else you might want to create in the first person template by simply, again, removing the visibility on all of these meshes, taking out the crosshair on the event graph in the first person HUD, and finally, in the first person character in the event graph, checking out the spawn projectile and disabling that input for both action fire and touch. 
So there you have it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully you found it useful. If you did, please consider subscribing to my channel, leaving a like, leaving a comment if you have any questions or issues that you want me to help you with, or at least try to help you with. And there's also the Patreon page where you can send me a buck or two per month, which helps me make these videos along with my gaming and creativity and business and everything else short podcast and a bunch of other stuff i'm working on there's also a bunch of other stuff how you can support me i sell books on amazon about a range of things and being that i'm a psychologist these are mainly not about anything to do with unreal engine but at the same time i'm also a game designer and game design teacher so there is a bunch of other stuff there mixed in as well besides psychology that you might find useful so yeah check out my books on amazon and i think that's pretty much it but if you don't want to waste any money on me or invest any money on me better said the cheapest and easiest ways to support me is to subscribe leave a like and share this if you have anyone who would might find it useful that's all for me my name is ivica thank you so much for being here at the very end and have loads of fun in your unreal engine projects until my next video bye bye